Hey there brothers Joy so welcome back to another Sea of Thieves guide. Today I'm diving into the gold stuff chest of Rare's Pirate Adventure to uncover the best things to spend your hard earned gold on. Whether you're a seasoned buccaneer or a fresh faced swabby, this guide will help you navigate the sea of choices in Sea of Thieves. But before we get into the details, don't forget to hit the like button and smash the subscribe button for more content. And now, without any further ado, let's get into it. In Sea of Thieves, gold is the lifeblood of any pirate who wants to progress. It founds your progression, buys your cosmetics and boosts your rank with the trading companies. But with so many options, how do you know what to spend your gold on? Let's weigh anchor and find out. First up, we have Trading Company Shop Cosmetics. As you level up your reputation with each trading company, you can unlock special cosmetics that display your allegiance. Each company's shop is brimming with items like bucket skins, spyglasses and instrument skins, all designed with unique colors and styles such as the purple hues of the Order of Souls. Raising your rank unlocks even more exclusive cosmetics like ship plushies and hooded outfits. These items not only look fantastic but also showcase your dedication and achievement to other pirates. It's a great way to flaunt your progress and allegiance to your chosen trading company. Next, let's talk about unique commendation cosmetic rewards. These items are unlocked by completing specific in-game achievements. For instance, the jacket of the Ashen Dragon costs 13,500 gold and can be purchased after unlocking the Tomb of Curses 2 commendation. These unique cosmetics are a badge of honor, highlighting your hard work and dedication. Although maybe if I were to highlight dedication, I wouldn't choose the Ashen Dragon jacket. For those who enjoy a quieter life on the seas, buying bait for better fishing is a great investment. Fishing can be both relaxing and profitable, especially with bait crates. A crate of 50 grubs, leeches and earthworms costs 5000 gold from the outpost merchants or 3500 gold from the shipwright's shop. Rare fish can fetch over 10,000 gold, making a bait a worthy purchase. Another overlooked investment is merchant commodities. These can help you farm emissary grade points and increase your profits. Commodities like unrefined tea and broken stone cost between 160 to 360 gold each and can be sold for a decent return. Deliver them to reapers or other outposts to boost your emissary grade and net bigger rewards. Season 7 introduced one of the most exciting purchases, becoming a ship captain. You can buy a sloop, brigantine or galleon if you have enough gold. Owning a ship allows you to name it, use the super intent for selling and access exclusive customization options. The sloop is the most affordable at 250,000 gold but owning a fleet of 50 ships is a true mark of prestige. To ensure your success on voyages, investing in storage crates and supplies is crucial. You can buy wood, fruit and cannonballs from merchant alliance representatives and captain ships offer additional supplies like swabbles and meat. An empty storage crate costs 5000 gold but makes looting barrels a breeze. Finally, let's not forget about trinkets and trophies for your captain ship. Since season 7 the game also allows you to customize your ship's interior with items like bonsai trees, skulls and more. Some trinkets can be purchased outright while others require unlocking through voyages and milestones. These decorations let you showcase your individuality and the epic tales of your adventures. From changing the captain's chair to hanging paintings, the possibilities are endless. Coordinated ship decorations look impressive, especially when combined with trinkets and trophies. Whether you sail a sloop, brigantine or galleon, personalizing your ship's interior is a fantastic way to spend your gold. One of the earlier goals in Sea of Thieves is to become a pirate legend. Upon reaching this prestigious rank, you gain access to the pirate legend hideout, where you can buy exclusive cosmetics that are also sure to make you stand out. These items are not only visually stunning but also signify your elite status among other pirates. Spend your gold on Athena's fortune cosmetics to show off your legendary status. From the legendary ship set to the ghost liquors, these items are well worth the investment. They symbolize the pinnacle of achievement in Sea of Thieves and are a must have for any pirate legend. Earning gold in Sea of Thieves can be a thrilling adventure. Whether you are completing voyages, participating in world events or hunting for buried treasure, there is no shortage of ways to fill your coffers. But remember, the key to a successful pirate life is not just earning gold but spending it wisely. 
Keep an eye out for seasonal and event exclusive items that return as well. Sea of Thieves regularly updates the outpost shops, offering previously time limited cosmetics that can become rare treasures. Spending your gold and doubloons on these items not only keeps your pirate looking fresh, but also ensures you have a unique collection that many pirates might still envy. With so many customization options available, it can be overwhelming to decide where to spend your gold. Take the time to explore the game's many systems and stay updated with the latest changes and additions. This will help you make informed decisions and ensure you're getting the most out of your gold. So there you have it, the best things to spend your gold on in Sea of Thieves. Prioritize these purchases and you will not only enhance your gameplay experience but also flaunt your status and achievements on the high seas. If you enjoyed this guide, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more Sea of Thieves content. Until next time, fair winds and following seas.